the golden star blessed joseph was istanu friends tum kaam greetings to you from us you have come to reflect on the life of blessed joseph was we are elated and extend a warm welcome to you ami kushal sata ani tumka mogacho inkar Feel the flowers dance, the waves playing on the beach. The mind who sees it, happy and contented. This is the reason why today, Goa is known all over the world. Goa, that was small state. It shines like a gem on the world map. Beautiful trees, plants, clear streams, rivers, deck a Goa like a bride. The talented sons of Goa have spread its importance throughout the world. The richness of inheritance have spread the light of Jesus like the sun throughout the world. In our small and beautiful Goa, Christopher Vaz and Maria Miranda, in this family of strong faith of a new star rose, Joseph Vaz. आम्ही असाव बाणावलेच्या गावात दिस इज ब्लेसेड जोसेफ वाज जुजे वाजाचे मदर्स हाऊस एट बेनावलिंग गोवा या गारांत ही वाज बोर्न हियर 21 ऑन अप्रैल 21 एक वर्षाक भक्तिवन जुजे वाज जन्मलो After eight days, he was baptized in this baptismal font at Benaulin Church. This is his father's house at Sankwal, Goa. It seems that when he was born his father had said one day this child will grow up to be a great person as a child itself the star sparkled in the village as a child he did well in school studies would show love and affection towards poor small and would embrace the needy with mercy loved the house of the god very much to serve as an altar boy and to spend time in prayer he would run to the church whether it's night or day it did not matter to him this is an incident in his childhood which cannot be forgotten and his father himself has given the testimony yasa donel and ya ponsa this is the window of his father's house where is to come out from the branch of a jackfruit tree which was close to the window get down from the tree and go to the kartali church because of the love for prayer he was traveling at night to kartali church when he would kneel down in front of the church door to pray the door would open by itself God would open the door for him and give him a loving welcome kneeling before the blessed sacrament for hours and hours he grew up in the relationship with God when he was growing in relationship with God he got his calling and took up a step to become a priest on completion of his studies at the college of St Paul he studied for his priesthood at the dominicans st thomas aquinas academy and in the year 1676 he received the anointing of a priest for the mission of jesus he had a great love for mother mary this is a ruins of old sankwal church dedicated to our lady of health on august 5th in the year 
wrote a letter of bondage to Mother Mary in all humility and obedience. He offered himself to God the Father. Maria thus means the servant of Mother Mary was the name later given to him. In Sri Lanka, the Catholics were persecuted because of their faith. When he heard this, he revealed his thought of going there to his elders because of the serious circumstances and persecutions in Sri Lanka. His elders sent him to Kanara, Mangalore. In Kanara, he did astonishing work. He rooted away the drunkenness between the people and brought peace in the homes. Families that were breaking apart, he brought healing. Mogan Jiyayat Eka Mekak Boksat Doyarain Vagoyat Doso Deo Povitr Doso Tumi Povitr Zang Proit Nukorat he built new schools, thus for the new generation. He opened the treasure of wisdom. There was human trafficking going on and truly the children of God who were tied in these chains of slavery. This rupiah. This rupiah. Well about this rupiah. Who's about this rupiah? Those who do God's work have a lot of obstacles. One night, on the context of anointing a sick person, his enemies plotted to kill him at the last moment. When he knelt down to ask God's mercy, a heavenly light shone and three streams of water broke open. Those who came to kill him were surprised and ran away. Till date, on the mountain of Mudipu, Mangalore, we can see this water and all those who see it are surprised and praise God. When he was preaching about the kingdom of God, due to a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of obstacles came from his elders. The elders took a decision to remove him from priesthood and cast him away from the Holy Church. But God reveals his clear heart and mind to his elders through a miracle. During the prayer, God raised him above the ground and enlightened the confused minds of the elders. Thus, God protected his priesthood. 
He came to Goa from Mangalore. His desire to go to Sri Lanka was still alive. For this reason, on September 25th in the year 1685, Joseph Vaz joined the Goan priesthood group Kuris Milagre and he satisfied his desires through this group. तुझ्या मोड्यांत तुझ्या शेळ्यांक सोदूंक येता म्हजे गोर म्हजो गांव सोडून दिता म्हज्या गोडच्याक इस मित्रांक पाठ करता तुझेच नाव करगटूक तुझे राज विस्तारूक सांडलोल्या तुझ्या भुरग्यांक एकटावूक संस्कारांनी मजबूत करू हांव येता सोमिया हांव येता मगर माई तुझ्या हातान म्हजे जिवितां वरवीत गोवन स्टार जोजफ वाज अलॉंग विथ हिस फॅमिली सर्वंट जुआ इन द डिस्काइज ऑफ अ कुली एंटर श्रीलंका ही डिड नॉट नो द पीपल वेन ही रीच दे इन स्पाइट ऑफ द बॅन टू प्रीच कॅथलिक फेथ ही सिक्रेटली स्टार्टेड टू स्प्रेड द फेथ टू प्रीच अबाउट जिजस एंड टू सेव्ह गार्ड द फेथ दे He became a beggar, a bangle seller, baker, fisherman, a laundryman. In this way, by taking up various disguises, he safeguarded himself and kept alive the Catholic faith. When preaching God's word, God himself through miracles kept his word firmly rooted the words preached by joseph was were firmly rooted by god through miracles he walked on the water crossed the deduru oya river and thus celebrated sacraments for the faithful longing for god when going through the forest he calmed down a restless elephant in the state of candy He suffered imprisonment because of faith and through the miracle of rain God freed him from the prison in this way in the state of candy he got the permission to preach his religion openly he got the permission from the king to bring a priest from goa those who had small fox one lost and outcast joseph was embraced them without any caste creed indifferences he himself dug out the graves and buried them and raised their souls to god when he was doing the work of jesus even at that time joseph was had a peaceful and united relationship with brothers and sisters of other religion the work of Joseph was was truly exemplary. We hear his unlimited stories. It seems for 24 years the star shone in Sri Lanka. Over there he sowed the seed of God's word and turned the soil into gold. In the place of thorns bloomed flowers of hope. On barren land grew an ever flowing life, giving a beautiful garden. As a child His family would fondly call him little saint. When the moment of his death came by, he requested to be taken from the bed and kept on the floor. How humble servant he was of Jesus. How big was the heart of the saint even as the last moment his heart took pity and cried for the weak when dying an old woman was shivering in the cold he told that his blanket was to be given to her in the end with a cross in his hand in the light of the paschal candle with the hope of a new life 
at the moment of his death recited the I believe and he requested to tell to his fellow priest that is dying a true Catholic priest. When the priest around him requested for his last message, he said these words, Hardly will one be able to do at the time of death what one has not done in his life. As he was breathing his last, he looked upwards, whereby Jesus appeared to him. He called out in Sinhalese, Jesus. On January 16th, 1711, he closed his eyes. Extolling his precious life, the Buddhist king kept his body open for the people to pay homage and on the third day it was interned in the church of Kandy. Although the lamp of earthly life of Father Joseph was was extinguished, even then his holy life remained alive in the hearts and minds of enlightened people. His devotion went on growing, increasing. As a result, the Bishop of Cochin, Pedro Pacheco, in the year 1713, started the work of getting him the status of a saint. On January 21, 1995, late Pope John Paul II declared him as blessed. To get the status of blessed, one miracle was needed and that miracle was obtained through the surprising miracle in the birth of the child Cosme Suze Costa. During the birth his mother's life was in danger, but through the intercession of Father Joseph Vaz, God helps them. Without any problem, the child was born. Later, this boy became a priest in the Pilar Society. At the time of his birth, Cosma's mother's and his own life were in danger, as she was bleeding profusely and continuously. The doctors decided on a caesarean operation. However, when the moment for the operation came, the bleeding stopped suddenly and the child, although premature, was born normally. God thus helped them through the intercession of Father Joseph Vaz. In the same way, on January 16th, in the year 2000, on his feast day in Old Goa, Se Cathedral. He was declared as a patron of Goa and Daman. Even though today it has become 300 years since he passed away, still devotion to him went on growing and increasing. Today, in his name, a lot of good work is going on. A lot of devotion has entered the church. He has become a faithful model for the people. Through him, many faithful have made Jesus their Lord and Master of their life. Many have taken inspiration from his exemplary life. Today, thousands of people come to Sakwal Sanctuary with their sorrows and grief to ask for Jesus' help. With this vision, the masses in his sanctuary and in his house, rosaries, way of the cross, confessions, religious dramas, intercessory and healings, prayers, retreats, vigils organized.
on this land many people were born and passed away but a few people have kept their life and name everlasting in this world father joseph was is one such great man is not only a great man but a channel of god's grace and lover of god a complete servant he is an example for every christian he calls us to be the light of faith and calls us to be a witness to the gospel Today we got to know him better and through him we got a renewed glimpse of God's great love the example of his holy life has filled our earthly journey with light just as the moon reflects the light of the sun Joseph was as reflected on us the light of Christ Christ is the sun Joseph became the moon what about you Jesus is the son of righteousness. He calls you to be his moon, to reflect his light on others. Walk in his light and become the moon. Chop.